It's a cold case that has the best detectives of the NYPD stumped. This couple vanished without a trace from their apartment, and they've never been found. Camden Sylvia and Michael Sullivan went to the video store down the block from their apartment on Pearl Street in Lower Manhattan. That was the last time they were seen. In the apartment, there was no evidence of foul play. The couple left eyeglasses, money, passports, almost as if they had just stepped out for a few moments. You go off and leave your money and your eyeglasses and your passport. Camden's mother, Lori, is still desperate for answers. As time went on, I accepted the fact that they're dead. Was there something sinister behind the disappearance? Cops soon learned Camden and Michael were threatening a rent strike in their building. Every fall, a number of tenants at 76 Pearl feuded with the landlord about heat. Camden and Michael delivered a letter about withholding their rent unless he cranked up the furnace. And this is our lovely studio. Ah, oh, yes. And our bedroom over here. The couple had what many in New York would call a sweet deal. 300 bucks a month for a 1,600 square foot rent controlled apartment on the fifth floor. But the landlord could have gotten 10 times that rent if a new tenant moved in. Strangely, right after Camden and Michael had vanished, Rodriguez himself soon disappeared. When he returned 10 days later, reporters were waiting for him, and he wasn't talking on the advice of his lawyers. Mr. Rodriguez, why have you not spoken to police? I'm sorry. Does he know the answer to the key question, what happened to Camden and Michael? Cops wanted to search his suburban home, but he refused. Rodriguez has another missing person in his past. His business partner mysteriously vanished back in 1991, and he received six years in the federal pen for credit card fraud after stealing another man's identity. Would I be able to talk to you about Camden, Sylvia, and Michael Sullivan? When I tracked down the landlord, Robert Rodriguez, many years later, he wasn't too happy to see cameras in his face. You never spoke to the police. Wait, wait, why are you pushing me out of the way? Camden's mother says she fears she will never know what happened to her daughter. But I'm not happy that someone got away with killing two people. Rodriguez has never been charged in connection with the disappearance, and he's always denied any involvement. Did your daughter love to come back to Cape Cod? Yes. At her home in Cape Cod, steps from the ferry to Nantucket, Lori keeps her daughter's memory alive by keeping all her clothes sealed up in plastic bags. It still smells like your daughter, it seemed. Yeah. It was just kind of overwhelming to think that a person's scent can still stay in a bag. The smell of her clothes. And this is our lovely studio. The sound of her voice. The pictures from happier times. That's all Lori has left of her daughter. So until new evidence surfaces, this will remain a missing persons case. No bodies, no case for murder, a mystery that may never be solved.